Viewers, you must have often heard the saying that if a person has courage, he can even split mountains and make rivers flow. But today, this is not just a saying, it has turned into reality. And the miracle stands none other than the president of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Traoré. Yes, the same Burkina Faso where once the lands were barren, the soil dry, people longed for a single sip of water. Today, on that very desert land, preparations are underway to create an artificial river that will not only irrigate fields but transform the destiny of an entire nation. Traoré has launched a project so ambitious that even the wealthy Gulf states would say, This is beyond our dreams. The true strength of a country does not come from tall buildings, highways, or weapons. Real power comes growing in the soil, the flow of water, and the content smile on a farmer's face. But for Burkina Faso, this was nothing but a dream. Landlocked from all sides, with no sea, and nearly 70% of its land desert or rocky hilling water is almost impossible, the people suffered years of drought. Fields dried up, livestock perished, and hunger crushed the spirit of the nation. This was the challenge that forced Ibrahim Traoré to think differently. He realized, if we solve the water crisis, every other problem will eventually be solved. And so, he decided not to wait for rain, but to bring water to the land himself. He gathered engineers, agricultural experts, water scientists, and experienced farmers in a secret meeting and unveiled a bold plan to carve a man-made canal through the desert. A canal that would not only irrigate the soil but also make the nation self-reliant. According to the plan, natural springs and underground reserves in the northern mountains will be collected into a massive artificial lake, which will then feed the canal using solar-powered pumps. This canal will be 276 kilometers long and 600 feet wide, large enough for trucks, pipelines, and transport to move alongside. Every 5 kilometers, branch canals will distribute water to nearby villages and farmlands. The project will unfold in three stages. First stage, 100 kilometers of excavation with 4,500 workers and 900 machines, many of which were old bulldozers and equipment now restored for use. Second stage, completion of the remaining 176 kilometers and construction of canal branches to carry water far and wide. Final stage, establishment of agricultural centers, seed distribution units, and mobile training schools to teach farmers modern techniques. Most importantly, this project is based on complete self-reliance. No foreign aid, no international loans, no Western contracts. The estimated cost is around $500 million, to be funded entirely by Burkina Faso's natural resources, gold mines, national savings, and public contributions. Citizens are asked to donate the price of just one seed, with the promise, we will turn the soil into gold. Along the canal, trees will be planted to prevent erosion, grazing fields will be created for livestock, and paved roads will ensure farmers can easily transport their crops to markets. It's estimated that 500,000 acres of land will be irrigated, boosting agricultural output by over 60% in the next five years. This will double exports and place Burkina Faso among the world's agricultural powers. But this is more than an agricultural project, it's a spiritual movement. Traoré personally visits the site every week, eats with the workers, and when the call to prayer is heard, the machines fall silent as laborers bow down on the soil itself, soil that now seems to know it is about to be reborn. This is a leader who grew up amid poverty, hunger, and oppression, where children were told, Dreams only make you hungrier. Yet he dared to dream. He knew that beneath the dry soil were seeds of determination. And today, Ibrahim Traoré has become the leader.